all right so i got a smiley face and i got another smiley face from this one so these are all positive results and this just confirms that i am ovulating today so if you are trying for a baby boy you want to avoid having sex the days leading up to your ovulation day okay hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here you are welcome my name is nosa i make motherhood and lifestyle videos also today's video is an interesting one today's video is for every woman who is trying to conceive a baby boy i'm going to show you guys something that i did or that we did when we we're trying to conceive one of our boys okay there are, there are some things that you can do to influence the gender of your baby if God allows, if God permits, I'm going to show you guys how to test or how to test for your ovulation to find out when you are most fatal so that you can plan intercourse and influence the gender of your baby. So we're going to do some testing in here and, you know, do some mathematics, put some numbers together and of course use that to influence the gender of of, of your baby okay yeah hopefully you guys find this video helpful if you are new to my channel i would really love for you to subscribe if you find this video helpful okay before we get started let me just quickly lay the foundation of this video so today i'll be referencing two methods or two theories that provides information on how to uh, influence the gender of your baby whether a boy or a girl and the first method or the first theory will be the Shetos method the second one will be the baby dust method so the two theories are similar in a lot of ways they both claim that both timing and frequency are key factors for couples who are trying to influence the gender of their baby so if you are trying to conceive a baby boy you want to try at a particular time and that will be on your ovulation day you want to try when you are ovulating and you want to try you want to baby dance you want to have sex multiple times within that period when you are ovulating so that is why you need to know the day you are ovulating so that you can try on that day Shetos method has a 60 to 90 percent accuracy a lot of women who tried this method said it worked for them including myself and the baby dust method has, has an 87 uh, percent accuracy a lot of women said it worked for them as well but there are a percentage of women out there who said this method were misleading they were very confusing they were unreliable so, but i think it is worth trying it, it, it is fun it is adventurous okay okay it's time to get into the tmis so first i'm going to show you guys the ovul all the ovulation apps that i use I use them to take data and I'll be using them in this video and the first one is the Ovia app and according to this app Tuesday the, th the 13th of June is the beginning of my fatal window today is Saturday and according to this app I am nowhere close to being fatal right now if you don't know what a fatal window is it is a period of time within which a woman can conceive it is usually a six day window okay let's go to the next app and that will be pre mom app this is my favorite app okay this video is not sponsored uh, but your yeah, premium app is always very accurate for me so according to the premium app tomorrow tomorrow sunday 11th of june is the beginning of my fertile window It's the first day of my fertile window okay and this app is also predicting that friday the 16th of june will be my ovulation day okay but we'll see we'll see the last app on my phone is the flow app uh, according to this app my ovulation day is eight days away thursday the 14th of june is the beginning is the first day of my fatal window so right now today is saturday i am nowhere close to being fatal according to the flow app okay as you guys can see all of these apps have different predictions for my fatal window for my ovulation day uh, so if I rely on these predictions, I can miss my ovulation day. So you cannot rely on the apps on your phone. I use them to take data and if I put all the data, then they give me an accurate result. So I'm going to start testing tomorrow. I'm not going to test today. I'm going to start testing tomorrow and I'm going to continue till the day of my ovulation day, which is the day you are going to do the deed if you are trying to conceive a baby boy. Okay. Okay. So you guys, today is the next day. I'm going to do my first test of the day. The time right now is 5 34 p.m. This is very late. Today is Sunday and after church we went out. I didn't realize we we're going to be out for such a long time. Anyway, uh, I'm going to do my first test of the day. According to one of my fertility apps, today is the first day of my fertile window. Okay, it says you've entered your predicted fertile windows and a high chance of conceiving. So let me go to calendar. 
this is calendar today is 11 and yep this purple lines means uh, this is the beginning of my fetal window so I'm gonna start I'm gonna use this one uh, easy at home because these ones are cheaper these ones are more expensive so we'll save this for later uh, it's just basically the same thing if you haven't watched the last video where we tested for ovulation put this in my in my pee my urine for five seconds and then I'll lay it flat here for three minutes one two three four five then I'm gonna lay it here so I'm gonna let this read for three minutes I'll be back in three minutes so when you're testing for ovulation what you're basically looking for is your luteinizing hormone the LH in your body is called the luteinizing hormone you are uh, looking for it to rise for it to surge and when that happens you will see the test line will become as dark or even darker than the control line okay so this is a test line and this is a control line so when the luteinizing hormone in your in your body rises this line the test line becomes as dark or darker than the control line okay so it's been three minutes so this is the result that we have as you guys can see the test line is uh is very faint this one here that's a test line it is very faint and the other one the one that's a little darker is the control line and the control line is just perfect okay so that means uh, the luteinizing hormone in my body is still very low. So I'm going to take a picture, a picture of this result right here. And I'm using a premium app. A lot of you have asked me what app I use to take data and track my cycle. I use, I use a lot of apps, but the premium app is my favorite. Put the image under the camera and it will take a picture. So, and it is reading 0 0.32. 0 0.32. That means fertility is low. Okay, let me just okay this. Okay, so I took three pictures and these are the results. So the first two was reading 0 0.27 and then the, the third one is reading 0 0.32, but they are all low, okay? It means my fertility for today is low. Yeah, that will be it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning, hopefully. Okay, good morning guys. So the time right now is 9.52 a.m. Today is day two of our testing for ovulation. I'll be doing my first test of the day. I don't know if I mentioned this before. You don't have to use your first pee of the day when you're testing for ovulation. It is not a pregnancy test, okay? So it's going to be the same thing. I'll put this in my urine for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to wait for three minutes. We have a resort. The test line is still very faint. It's just like yesterday. And the control line is, you know, just as the same, very dark, very pink. So this is the result of the photo I took. Right now, I am currently at 0 0.32. So yesterday, I got 0 0.27, 0 0.27. And today, I have a 0 0.32. And they are all considered low. So that's the first test for today. I'm going to test again in the evening and hopefully we get a better result. Okay, good evening guys. So the time right now is 6.42 p.m. And I'm going to do my second test of the day. Uh, when you dip this strip, this strip into your pee, make sure it doesn't go past this black line here, okay? That's why it's written max. It's showing max here. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to wait for three minutes. Okay, so this is the result. Um, it doesn't look any different from the result I had this morning. It looks exactly the same. But I'm going to take a picture with my premium app and see what my fertility score is. Okay, so what do we have? That is 0 0.38. Yeah, 0 0.38. This morning it was 0 0.32 and this evening it is 0 0.38. Uh, so I think we're going to have higher numbers tomorrow, okay? So that will be it for this evening. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. So this morning I'm going to do only one test. That will be the easy at home test. Three, four, five. and we have a result this looks uh, better than yesterday 
so i'm going to take a picture with that is the result 0.36 okay 0.36 that is also considered low according to my ovulation tracker app so i'm going to continue testing during the day i think the numbers are uh, the numbers are definitely going to increase or rise during the day all right guys that will be it for this morning i'll see you guys in the evening okay good evening guys so the time right now is 7 7 21 p.m and i'm gonna do my second test of the day so this evening i'm doing two tests one with the easy at home and the other one with my clear blue blue clear blue advance so this is a new one i have never used this before this was the one i used the last time in my last video and this allows you to find two peak days so this one still brand new i haven't opened it according to what's written here it typically identifies four or more fatal days four more days to try okay so i think that's a great feature all right let's get started so three four five okay okay guys it's been three minutes and we have a result it is definitely looking more like the control line so i'm going to take a picture and see my fertility score for today 0 0.48 0 0.48 that is the result we have this evening so this is still considered low according to the premium app so uh but i think you know i think the numbers are definitely going up so i'm going to do a second test this evening just to see all right so this is what it looks like inside it comes in a purple sash but the last one i got is a pink okay so that's how you know the difference this is purple and this is pink okay so so this is the main machine here this is the main thing that would read the results i'm going to insert it here once you insert it you remove the cap So when you see this sign, it means you had everything right. It means the stick was well inserted in. And according to the instructions and demonstrations here, the stick, this stick should go into the pee for 15 seconds. So make sure to read the instructions on your manual before getting anything done. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, the next step is to lay it flat on the flat surface and wait for the results wait for the results in five minutes okay so we're going to be back in five minutes okay the time is 7 42 it's been five minutes and we have a result and the result is just a round cycle okay that means low fertility a cycle means low fertility so that will be it for this evening see you tomorrow oh by the way this is how to eject you just press here <laughs> you press here and this thing pops out and yeah the result is going to be there for a while but this this part you have to throw it away okay so that'll be it for for this evening i'll see you guys in the morning good morning guys so this is day four and we are still testing for ovulation so this morning i'm doing two tests all right this is my test strip and i'm going to count one to five four five we'll read the results in three minutes okay so you guys we have a result and this is very obvious the test line is looking way darker than the control line okay so this is a good result i'm going to take a picture now and see what my fertility score is okay so let's see what the premium app okay according to the premium app today is my peak day okay it says peak fertility i have high chance to get pregnant okay so let's take a picture first and 1.41 141 so this is my first high i'm getting my first high this morning today is day four of our testing for ovulation okay so that's a good result i'm gonna do the same thing with a clear blue uh ovulation test 12 13 14 15 all right so okay now we wait okay. you guys 
okay i wasn't expecting this okay according to what's written here in the manual i was expecting it to go from this to this and then this so this is like flashing a uh, smiley face and when that happens it means i am at high fertility but when this happens it means i am at peak fertility okay so it just went from this yesterday to this so this is the results we have right now it is showing peak fertility but honestly i don't even know okay so um this is a good result this is a very good result i'm gonna put it in all my apps in all the ovulation tracker apps on my phone and uh we'll test again in the evening and i'm hoping to have a consistent result so this is how you eject you just press it like this and it comes out so even after ejecting it the smiley face or whatever symbol that's there would remain there for a while okay so if you see yours like that it, that's how it is um that's how it is programmed to be okay all right guys i'll see you all in the later in the day maybe afternoon okay i'll see you guys later okay guys it is now 3 30 in the afternoon and i'm gonna do my second test of the day all right gonna wait for three minutes before we read the results once you notice that the test line is getting dark or as dark as the control line then you want to increase the number of tests that you do during the day so that you don't miss your peak okay guys it's been three minutes and we have a result the test line looks very dark it looks way darker than the control line and that's what i want to see 1.58 that is that is definitely higher than the number that i got this morning okay so i'm going to save it and so this morning i got 1.49 and this afternoon i'm getting 1.58 so that's the result for this afternoon i'll see you guys in the evening Hey, good evening guys so i'm gonna do my third test of the day four five guys we have a result and from what i see here the both lines are looking the same they're looking exactly the same okay i don't know if you guys are seeing anything different but i am seeing the same lines like identical lines so um i'm going to take a picture of course very interesting so the number this evening is 1.32 1.32 so this is definitely lower than the number we got this morning and this afternoon okay i'm going to save it and and once i save it it will give me a peak so the highest number i've had so far since i've been testing is 1.58 at 3 34 pm on day four of testing for ovulation i found my peak okay that's according to this app now if you are testing for ovulation you don't want to stop testing you want to continue because the peak can change this can be my peak today if i wake up tomorrow and i, ha and I have a higher number let's say i have like 2.5 2.05 that will be my peak okay so the peak can change at any time of the day okay so there are some things i want to explain to you guys which i consider very important so pay attention so the first thing is once you get your first high that's if you're testing and using the ovulation tracker apps once your app confirms that you've had your first high you want to start testing multiple times on that day or from that moment on you want to start testing at least three times a day okay this morning i woke up thinking i was going to test in the morning and evening but once i got my first high i decided to test in the afternoon and test again in the evening and guess what this afternoon was my peak fertility okay and if you don't have any of these apps if you are just like trying to read the the test strip with your eyes or once you notice that the two lines are looking the same or the test line is looking darker than the control line then you are right there at your peak your lh is so now according to science a woman's ovulation occurs 8 to 20 hours after she gets her peak so i found my peak at 3 34 pm today so count let me count eight hours from from that time it will be 11 34 pm i found my peak at 3 34 pm eight hours from then is 11 34 pm and according to science 11 34 pm tonight is when i will be ovulating so if i am trying to conceive a baby boy 
11.34 p.m. is the hour. <laughs> it's the golden hour. Once it gets to that time, I have to wake up. If I'm sleeping, I have to wake up. I have to stop everything that I'm doing and take my husband to the room and get to work, okay? But we are not trying to conceive. So you want to count eight hours from when you find your peak, okay? So if you are not using any of these ovulation apps, but you have the test, you have an ovulation test, once you see that the test line is high, is darker than the control line, just write that time. Write the time of the day that you got that result and, and count eight hours ahead, okay? Okay, if you calculate eight hours and uh, it is not a favorable time for you, maybe your husband is at work or you have to go to work or it's just a crazy time of the day, you don't have to kill yourself, okay? According to science, it says eight to 20 hours. So within eight to 20 hours, wherever you are, whatever you are doing, you can plan to come back home and get the job done, okay? Now, here is another good news. According to science, again, a woman has, after your ovulation day, the day after your ovulation day, and the day after, that's two days after, your body is still very fertile. So it is not just your ovulation day that you can conceive. The, the day after your ovulation day, you are also super fertile. And the day after, you want to use those days, okay, or those hours. Now, according to the two theories on which this video is built, which is the Shetos method and the baby dust method, timing and frequency are two things you need to consider when trying for a baby boy. So we have talked about the timing, but frequency is just as important. So if you are trying for a baby boy, one attempt is not enough. One attempt is not a guarantee. You need to try multiple times, at least three times, okay? So Shetos and the baby dust method recommends that a couple who is trying to conceive a baby boy should not stop at one attempt. So if you do it today, that's when you find your peak and when you know you're ovulating, then do it again the next day and do it again the day after. Give it at least two or three attempts and then wait and see. So the last thing I'm gonna say before I leave here tonight is, Everything we've been doing here so far, all the testing for ovulation and taking data and taking pictures is something you want to do for at least three months or two to three months, okay? You want to know your body very well. You want to study your cycle. You want to know how your cycle comes and goes and everything that happens. If you do this in January and then by February you are trying to conceive, you can miss it. So whether you have a regular or an irregular cycle, if you can be patient with the process, if you can just stay patient and do this consistently for at least three months, you will see a pattern. You will see a pattern in your body. So for someone like you who has never tested before and you're just starting for the first time, you want to give yourself some time. This is something you should plan ahead, okay? Plan this pregnancy to happen maybe maybe in maybe in October or towards the end of the year. So right now, this is your opportunity to start taking data and gathering all the informations you need about your body. Okay, this is not the end of the video. I just wanted to give you guys all these informations right now because this is a crucial point, you know, in the testing, okay? Uh, so yeah, tomorrow we're gonna continue testing. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, good morning guys. This is day five, day five of testing. For ovulation and the time right now is 11 20. all right i have my strip i'm gonna put this in for five seconds let's just put it like this so the test line is already beginning to fade out if you guys can see it's yeah it's beginning to fade out already but i think this is a this is a positive result a highly positive result so i'm gonna take a picture now with my app and by the way, let's see what the app is saying. Okay, so according to the premium app, today is my ovulation day. And if I have sex today, I have a high chance to get pregnant. 0 0.68, 0 0.68, that is my fertility score for this morning, my ovulation day. So I'm going to save this. So yesterday, I got my first high. In the afternoon, I got my peak. And in the evening, I got another high. And this morning... Uh, I have 0 0.68, which to me is a high number, okay? This is the level of my fertility this morning. This is a good enough number because I know that today is my ovulation day, okay? All right, that's the first test. I'm going to do the other test right now. And you guys, 
the smiley face is still just there <laughs> I, I thought it was gonna be gone by this morning but it's still there okay this is my other clear blue advanced ovulation test this one can find your two peak days that's your peak day and your ovulation day so we just want to be sure that today is my ovulation day okay i'm gonna do one more test so the same thing i'm gonna count for 15 seconds 13 14 15 All right, so I got a smiley face and I got another smiley face from this one. So these are all positive results and this just confirms that I am ovulating today, okay? If I found my peak yesterday, it means I'm ovulating today. So uh, yeah, this is the last test I'm gonna do for this morning and in the afternoon and evening, I'll continue testing. So according to science, your ovulation day is your best day, it's your highest chance of conceiving, of getting pregnant at all, whether boy or girl. But science does not rule out the days leading up to your ovulation day, okay? So if your ovulation day is Thursday, you can certainly get pregnant on Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday, and even Sunday, okay? Your body is fertile, you can easily conceive the days before your ovulation day. So if you are trying for a baby boy, you want to avoid having sex the days leading up to your ovulation day, okay? That's according to Shettles and the Baby Dust Method. You want to save yourself and your partner. The both of you keep yourselves until that day, until you know you are ovulating. Because you don't want to ruin the chances. I mean, if you do it and you get pregnant, you may just end up having a beautiful baby girl, okay? A beautiful, sweet girl. So you want to keep yourself until your ovulation day. Find other ways to get intimate. There are other things that you can do, okay, to have fun. Another thing, another TMI, I don't know if you guys even need to know that. This morning I woke up feeling some cramps on my lower abdomen, the right side of my lower abdomen, okay? And that, for me, that is the number one sign. Once I wake up in the morning with, you know, with cramps and, you know, just tightness in my tummy, I know, okay, I know that ovulation is approaching or I am ovulating so that's another sign you need to look out for I have videos where I talk about signs of ovulation in your body so if you if you don't know the signs then go watch this video okay. I don't know if I said this at the beginning of this video but I started testing four days after my period and that's because I know my body so well I knew that ovulation was not gonna I knew when ovulation was most likely gonna happen so I timed the period when I started testing but for someone like you who have never done this before, I will advise you to start testing immediately after your period ends. So if your period ends today, start testing the next day, okay? So that you don't miss anything, okay? And continue to test. Sometimes ovulation can come early, sometimes it can come late. So you wanna be consistent with the whole process and of course be patient. No matter the effort you put into all of this, you know, all this testing and everything, Put your ultimate faith in God and, you know, I pray it works for you, okay? And please, please, I just want to plead to all the women watching me right now. Don't put any pressure on yourself, okay? I'm speaking from experience. I can go crazy when I'm doing all of this ovulation tests, okay? I can lose my mind. Because this is a lot of work, okay? This is a lot of mental and physical, uh, you know, work. You don't want to get exhausted. So please enjoy the process. Don't put any pressure on yourself. And yeah, just let God do his thing. The baby's gonna come from God anyway, so let God do his thing, okay? Alright, so you guys, I think that will be it for this video. I'm gonna continue testing off camera and, you know, save the rest of the information to myself, okay? But this is all the information I need to share in this video. We have, we started testing from when I had low fertility until my ovulation day. And, yep, this is the purpose of this video, to find my ovulation day and try to have sex on that day or within that hours and increase my chances of conceiving a baby boy okay i hope you guys found this video helpful i hope uh, all the information here it was, it's something that will be helpful to you in your journey and i wish you guys the best of luck okay I, I hope and i pray that you get your baby boy or your baby boys if you are looking forward to having a set of twins i pray that you get your desired gender and yeah you and everybody will be happy okay all right guys thank you so so much for being here with me thanks for watching this video please give this video a massive thumbs up drop a comment down below and of course share my video with someone that you think will be helpful to them okay yeah thank you always for being here for watching my videos i will see you guys in my next one bye
so right here i have my ovulation test kit i have the clear blue advanced this is a new one i've never used this before and i have the easy at home one i've always used this and I get a lot of questions every time I show you guys this. Uh, questions like, where can I get this store? Where do you buy them? You can buy this from your local pharmacy store. Any local pharmacy close to you, they sell ovulation test kits, okay? Uh, but I want to say this. This can be expensive. I got this one for $40. That's pretty expensive, okay? Now, if you cannot afford this or if you cannot find this in your, in your pharmacy store, then there's a video here which I already made. Uh, this video also has information on how to conceive and influence the gender of your baby, okay? So in this video, you don't need any of this. You don't need uh, ovulation test kits. It's a very simple, straightforward video. So please click on this video and watch it and get this the same information we'll be sharing here today. But if you can, if you can buy this, if you can afford this, then sit down, relax, get a book, get a pen, okay? You're going to be jotting down and writing down a lot and a lot today.